today we're going to explore the idea that the only way that you truly learn is by failing. Take the first step. That's the only way you're ever going to do. Have you ever avoided even attempting doing something that you truly wanted to do, something you were passionate about, just because you were concerned you would make a mistake, you'd fail, or maybe you'd just look silly? You know, our culture has conditioned us to have this idea of perfection in everything we do, whether it's the perfect look, the perfect hair, the perfect speech, the perfect presentation. Many people stay in relationships, in jobs, in situations that just are not healthy for them because they fear making a bigger mistake. I'll give you an example for me personally. In 1998, I left a very well-paid position as a DJ in New York City to start a new career as a professional speaker and a coach. And uh, I had no experience in business. I didn't know how to market. I didn't know how to find clients. I didn't know how to do the finances for a business. It was totally new, but I was excited about it. So I went out and did it and I failed miserably. I did. I went in debt because of making bad decisions in regards to partnerships, in regards to how I marketed myself or the lack of marketing um, and just bad decisions financially overall. And it really put me in a bad place financially for a very long time. But it was one of the most beautiful experiences of my life as I look back. Because the only way that we truly learn is by making mistakes. You can read every book in the world that you want about how to build a business or about how to skydive or about how to do anything that you want to do. But until you actually step into the experience, until you actually apply yourself, until you actually make mistakes, you can't learn how to course correct, how to adjust, and how to succeed at whatever it is you're choosing to do. Give you an example, walking. I mean, pretty much everybody you know, unless they're limited by some disability, walks. And pretty much everybody that you know did not succeed the first time that they tried to walk. You know, most people were barely able to get off their butt before they fell down. And then they had to adjust internally. They had to think, what was wrong with my balance? Unconsciously, and they made the adjustments and then they got up a little farther before they fell. And then finally, after three or four tries, they maybe got to the point of where they were able to stand and then they fell. It was all about making mistakes, failing before they actually achieved the outcome. We've, over time, become conditioned to fear failing, whether it's in school, whether it's from well-meaning adults, whether it's from friends who just enjoyed laughing at us. We get scared to even try something new because we don't want to look silly. We don't want to make a mistake. Or again, because our culture conditions us that we see so much on TV that's perfect, we think that's the way it was the first time. They don't see how many times we had to shoot this little episode to get it right. What if, instead of getting the red mark that said we did it wrong, or whether we got the laughter that embarrassed us, what if we were conditioned for success knowing that mistakes are going to happen, that failures are going to happen. And rather than looking at the downside, we ask ourselves, what did I learn? What did I do right? What can I do better next time? That experience in business for me, it put me in really bad shape financially. And it also opened up the opportunity for me to study with some of the great leaders in business of how to market myself more effectively, how to manage my finances better. And I wouldn't have done it the way that I do it now if I wouldn't have made those mistakes. So let me ask you, think back in your past. What's something that you are very accomplished at now that the first time that you tried, you failed miserably? And I'm sure you can come up with a couple of ideas, a couple of experiences. The next thing I want to ask you is, what's something that you've been avoiding doing because you've been fearing making a mistake or failing or looking silly? Maybe you can come up with a list of two or three of those. And finally, what I want to ask you is, what's one step that you could take right now towards achieving that thing you've been putting off? Because I guarantee you, you're going to make mistakes. It's just about remembering that's truly the only way we ever achieve the outcome we're ultimately shooting for. So I wish you the very best. Again, write in your journal, leave some notes here, share ideas with other people, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.